Hey friends, it's time for another Playwright tip. And today I want to talk about how you can run your Playwright tests in Perl or in sequence. Recently, we were hosting a Playwright Ask Me Anything session in our Checkly community. And one person asked how they should structure their Playwright project when their end-to-end -end tests include a lot of environment changes, resource creations, and maybe database updates. And our CTO, Tim, jumped in and he said, well, there is no easy solution to this problem, but it might be a good idea to group your tests into non-destructive and destructive tests. So first of all, there are non-destructive tests that are not relying on a particular environment state. They're not messing with the environment. They're not doing any updates. And these can run completely in parallel because, well, they are not changing anything that could affect other test cases. But then there are destructive or stateful tests. Let's consider your application has some resources like products and you have one test case that adds a lot of products to your environment, whereas you have another test case that is deleting a lot of products. It is very easy that these two test cases are colliding with each other when they run in parallel. Another example could be that you have an end-to-end -end test that changes global configuration of your application. And when then other tests are running, well, these test cases all will probably interfere with each other. So sometimes you have to run test cases strictly serial. And how can you do this in your Playwright project? So let's have a look. I have an example spec JS file here that includes three test cases. It's not doing much. It's not doing any Playwright magic, but it is logging out when the test case starts, when it ends, and it has an artificial delay here in the middle. When we now run this test case, you will see that these test cases in here are run in sequential order. So Playwright will treat the order in your test cases as you define them in your spec files. And you also see that currently Playwright is using one worker that makes its way through this spec file. You can change this behavior by going to your Playwright config and you can full on fully Perl mode. So when I now define that I want to run everything in full parallel mode, you will see that there are three workers running already. And these test cases that are defined in my spec file are executed in parallel. So this can be useful when you run these stateless or non-destructive test cases in your end-to-end -end test suite. But let's not define this global configuration. Let's go back to the spec file. What you can always do too is you can define it on a file level how you want to run all your test cases. So to do that, you can go in and you can say test describe. And now you can say configure and you can define a mode property over here. And we can now say that we want to run everything in Perl. So even though we have fully Perl set to false here right now, if we run it, you will see that everything runs in Perl. We have three workers, three processes that are executing our tests and everything is super speedy. But we can also say that we want to run these in serial mode, which then goes back to the default behavior and runs all the tests one by one. And these are the configurations that you can define on a file level, but it is not necessarily solving the problem of running multiple tests in parallel because Playwright will still do this by default. So let's change our testing target here. And let's say that we want to run all the spec files that are in this parallel directory. And these tests are looking pretty much the same. They are logging out when they start and end, they have a timeout. And what you see now is that when I run it, Playwright by default will spin up four workers and will run everything in parallel. And when we have a look, why is that? Well, all the test cases here configure that they want to be run in parallel, which means that we have two spec files here that both include two tests, which means there are four processes, four workers kicked off and run all the test cases. But then on the other hand, I have a sequence directory over here. And what I want to do with them is I want to run really one test at a time and I want to run the tests of particular files at a time. So what I can do to make this, I can define the workers property. So if I run this without the workers property, you will see that we have two workers here. It's not four because these two files are not defining that they want to be run in parallel. But if I define now that I only want to run them with one worker, you will see that it's really just one worker that makes its way through all the files, first of all, and then all the tests that are included in your spec files. 
How does Playwright define the order of when to run your tests? These test cases over here are sorted alphabetically in my editor, but also Playwright will go through the files alphabetically and will run them one by one. So this is already a handy way to leverage file directories and maybe file names to make sure that particular tests are only running serial and in sequence when they are destructive. To make it a little bit easier, what you then can do is you can define scripts like I do here. I have a test NPM script that runs everything in parallel here. The test cases itself define that they want to run, be run fully in parallel. And then I have this test sequence case here that defines that this should only be run with a single worker and then everything runs in sequence. So when I now do this here, it's pretty much the same as I did on the terminal a few minutes ago. And of course, it's Playwright and everything is configurable. If you want to change how you want to deal with workers, there's also a workers property in your Playwright config. So you see here that workers by default in your Playwright config will be only set to one when you're running in CI. There are plenty of ways to change the behavior of when things run in parallel and when they run one after another. If you want to learn more how you can do parallelism and sharding, the Playwright docs are pretty good over here. So you can go to playwright.dev slash docs slash test parallel. There are plenty of ways to do this. I leveraged here now file directories and file paths to differentiate tests. You could also use custom annotations, which I might cover in a future video. But if you're interested in defining when to run your tests in Perl and when you want to run them in sequence, make sure to check out these docs. And yeah, this is all about running player tests in Perl or Serial in today's Playwright tip. If you enjoyed it or have some questions, make sure to drop them below. And I will talk to you next week to our next Playwright tip.